There is a place where nature seems to have drawn an absolute line against humanity, where every step could mean death. Snake Island, a deadly island in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean, is not only home to the most venomous snakes on the planet, but also at the center of terrifying legends. Would you dare to uncover the secrets of this isolated land? Join us as we explore this perilous island. Isla de Quemada Grande, also known as Snake Island, is a small island off the southeastern coast of Brazil in the state of Sao Paulo. Covering an area of about 111 acres, or roughly 45 hectares, the island is isolated in the South Atlantic Ocean, about 20 miles or 33 kilometers from the mainland. At first glance, Snake Island boasts a pristine beauty, with lush greenery, rugged coastlines, and crystal clear waters surrounding it. However, beneath this tranquil exterior lies a deadly secret. Snake Island is the only natural habitat of the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, a highly venomous snake species found nowhere else in the world. The number of snakes on the island is estimated to exceed 400,000. These snakes possess extremely potent venom, capable of quickly killing their prey, and even humans, if treatment is not administered in time. Early estimates suggested that the density of snakes on the island could reach five snakes per 10 square feet, or about five snakes per square meter, a number that sent shivers down many spines. The idea of an island where every step risks an encounter with multiple deadly snakes quickly captured the public's imagination. However, field studies have provided a more accurate assessment of the snake density on the island. A seasoned biologist who has studied the area extensively stated that the figure of five snakes per square meter is an exaggeration. Based on observations and calculations, the actual density is closer to one per 10 square feet, which is about one snake per square meter. While this is less than previously believed, it still represents an incredibly high concentration of snakes. Golden Lancehead Pit Vipers are the exclusive residents of Snake Island. Unlike many other snake species, they do not hunt mammals, but instead prey primarily on migratory birds that stop on the island. As a result, their hunting strategy has evolved to be incredibly efficient, ensuring their prey has no chance to escape. To increase their chances of catching prey, these snakes often climb low branches or perch on high rocks to ambush passing birds. From these vantage points, they wait patiently and strike with lightning speed when the opportunity arises. Researchers believe that the scarcity of prey on the island has created intense survival pressure, driving the evolution of the snake's venom. To ensure each hunting attempt is successful, their venom has developed to be extremely potent, capable of killing prey almost instantly. This powerful venom plays a key role in shaping the island's unique ecosystem. Most small animals cannot survive for long in such a dangerous environment, except for those that wander in by accident or stop briefly. This makes Snake Island a near monoculture ecosystem, dominated entirely by golden lancehead pit vipers. In addition to their hunting prowess, the golden lanceheads have also developed highly efficient digestive systems to extract the maximum nutrients from each meal. This allows them to survive for extended periods between hunts, an important adaptation in an environment where food is not consistently available. The golden lancehead, Pit Viper, exemplifies the phrase, what is beautiful is often deadly. These snakes are stunning, with a striking golden hue as adults that draws attention to their beauty. Yet, they possess venom five times more potent than that of their mainland relatives. Fully grown, they can exceed 1.5 feet in length, or about half a meter, making them an imposing presence. Due to their diet of migratory birds, the venom of golden lanceheads has evolved to inflict severe damage on both blood and nervous systems. A bite from one of these snakes can cause muscle tissue breakdown, skin necrosis, and life-threatening symptoms such as vomiting, kidney failure, blood clotting disorders, and intestinal bleeding. In many cases, if left untreated, the consequences of a bite can be fatal. 
The prolonged isolation of Snake Island has created a one-of-a-kind environment, forcing its snakes to develop extraordinary survival skills. With a limited food supply, primarily consisting of migratory birds that only occasionally visit the island, golden lanceheads rely on their extremely potent venom to quickly subdue their prey. These snakes do not get a second chance if their prey escapes. Therefore, the speed and effectiveness of their venom are crucial to their hunting strategy and survival. This has made them the unrivaled rulers of Snake Island's isolated ecosystem. With its high snake density and incredibly potent venom, the Brazilian government has imposed strict restrictions to protect both humans and the unique ecosystem of Snake Island. Most people are prohibited from accessing the island, except for a few authorized groups, such as Navy personnel, scientists, documentary filmmakers, and those responsible for maintaining the lighthouse. Even these individuals must adhere to strict safety protocols and wear protective gear. Anyone permitted to step foot on the island is equipped with specialized protective clothing. The first essential item is anti-snake bite boots made from materials like Kevlar or synthetic leather capable of withstanding snake bites. These boots reach up to the knees to shield the legs, which are the most vulnerable to attacks. In addition, long-sleeved protective jackets and anti-bite gloves are necessary to safeguard sensitive skin from unexpected strikes. Protective goggles or face shields are also commonly used to guard the face and eyes in dense vegetation, where snakes can strike from any angle. Research teams and specialists often carry snake handling tools such as tongs and snake containers to maintain a safe distance while collecting specimens. Personal emergency kits are mandatory, including anti-inflammatory medication, epinephrine for anaphylactic shock, and basic first aid supplies. These items are crucial for addressing emergencies, especially since accessing medical services on the island is not feasible. To ensure safety, research expeditions often recommend having a doctor accompany the group. This provides immediate treatment for incidents involving the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, whose venom is so potent that it can cause tissue necrosis, organ failure, and rapid death if left untreated. Yet, the venom of these snakes is not just a source of danger, it also offers significant potential for medical applications. Scientists have studied the venom and discovered that it contains special enzymes and proteins with promising uses in medicine. Some compounds in the venom have been shown to inhibit the growth of cancer cells, marking a significant breakthrough in cancer treatment. Additionally, proteins in the venom can be used to regulate blood pressure prevent blood clots, and assist in treating cardiovascular and circulatory disorders. Research is ongoing to develop medications for other chronic conditions using these compounds. These medical potentials not only reshape our perception of this snake species, but also drive efforts to preserve them in their natural habitat. Snake Island is famous not only for its unique ecosystem and highly venomous golden lancehead pit vipers, but also for the mysterious legends and historical tales surrounding it. Over time, these stories have added to the island's eerie and deadly reputation. Around 11,000 years ago, Snake Island was part of mainland Brazil. However, rising sea levels at the end of the Ice Age isolated the island completely. Golden lancehead vipers, once common on the mainland, became trapped on the island with no escape route. This isolation created a one-of-a-kind environment, where the snakes evolved to adapt to harsh conditions and limited food resources. As a result, Snake Island became the exclusive habitat of this species, where the golden lanceheads thrived and took over the entire ecosystem. With no predators and no competition, these snakes became the undisputed rulers of this small yet deadly island. The island is also shrouded in spine-chilling folklore and legends that have been passed down for generations. Locals have always considered it a forbidden land, a place where human life is unlikely to survive. One of the most infamous tales tells of a group of fishermen who accidentally drifted to the island while seeking shelter from a storm. They mysteriously vanished without a trace. Days later, pieces of their boat washed ashore, fueling terrifying speculations about their fate on the snake-infested island.
Stories like these quickly spread among nearby communities, turning Snake Island into a symbol of fear and the unknown. Another tragic tale is about the family tasked with operating the lighthouse on the island in the early 20th century. According to legend, snakes slithered into their home through open windows, attacking and killing the entire family. After this incident, the lighthouse was automated to prevent similar tragedies. Since then, the lighthouse, once a beacon of safety and guidance, has become a symbol of the island's lurking dangers and nature's ultimate control over this isolated place. While many of the legends about Snake Island may have been exaggerated, they reflect humanity's genuine fear of this perilous place. The truth is that with its high snake density and dangerously potent venom, the island has caused numerous tragedies for those daring or foolish enough to set foot there. How would you feel if you accidentally wandered onto this island? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more mysterious stories. Thank you for joining us and see you in the next video.